Welcome back ladies and gentlemen. Uh, I have a different video for you today. We aren't going to turn a single nut or bolt. So, you're driving down the road and your check engine light comes on. And if you know these trucks, you're like, damn, where am I going to get the at least $1,000 bill to fix this thing, right? So, <clears throat> you take it to AutoZone and they hook that goofy little orange OED2 scanner up to the truck or to the car, whatever, whatever you're driving. And he gives you a code that you know nothing about. And then you go to Google and try to figure it out. It's just a long, nasty process, right? So, what if I told you that you could read the codes from your Ford, Lincoln, or Mercury vehicle with a free program that you could download from the internet for only the cost of one of these, which you should probably already have anyway. And this is a ELM 327 OBD scanner. It's a Bluetooth scanner. It's actually just a link. Okay, so this will, you can Bluetooth your computer or, or your phone if you have a, a OBD2 scanner on your phone. It will read off of this. So I have something a little bit different for, for you where you don't have to go out and spend all the money, not 80, 90, 100 for a cheap one or up to three, five, even $10,000 for some expensive snap-on scanner. So hang tight. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so with your... ELM 327 we're gonna take it's keyed so you can only plug it in one way and we're gonna plug that bad boy into the OBD2 port on your vehicle now I will tell you that Forescan only works for Ford Lincoln or Mercury vehicles okay but it's well worth it let me tell you um, I'm gonna open it up here and it's gonna look like it's kind of bright in here so you may not be able to see my screen um, it's just a little blue icon right there. We're going to open it up. Actually, first I'm going to get you guys set back up here, and then I'm going to open it up. So for the first boot, once you once you get, get it downloaded and get it uh, put on your computer, and I'll put some screenshots in the video so that you guys can see what everything looks like. But uh, once you get it open, You'll be just at a, a screen, just like a, not a welcome screen, but like a home screen. Um, you'll have to make sure and join your ELM 327 with your laptop or whatever you're going to use. Um, there's Forescan Lite that you can use it on your cell phone, but I don't advise it because it doesn't have all the options. Find you a laptop. You can go to a pawn shop and get a laptop. It doesn't have to be anything special. Um, you can go to a pawn shop and get a laptop for 200 bucks. Um, most every one of you have a computer because you're watching me on one right now. So um, if you want to use a desktop that is can link to Bluetooth, then by all means use that. But So I've already got mine uh, connected. I'm going to connect to vehicle. And it will show that it's connected once it... Yeah, now it's flashing down there. So now it's connected, and you can actually save profiles. So it's asking me if I would like to open the uh, save profile that I already have, which I would like to. So once it it'll once it connects, it'll go through and it'll check every one of the modules to make sure they're there. Now I currently have uh, a couple DTCs which I already know what they are, but for the sake of the video, we'll go to the DTCs and see what they are. P1000FF, that is because we have this truck uh, deleted, so it doesn't have, um, all of the sensors aren't hooked up. So it, the P1000 is because it is unable, it says, uh, the only way, let's see, P1000 cannot be cleared from the PCM when... Essentially, it is. It hasn't been able to do 
an onboard diagnostic on all systems that it knows it's supposed to since the last memory clear. So that that code is never going to go away, and it's not a hard code. It doesn't uh, it doesn't trip a CEL. Um, so I just leave it in there because there's no way I'm going to get rid of it. Uh, parking aid module, one of my, my right inner, rear inner right sensor fault, so the little parking module, I need a new sensor, I'm not too worried about that. Uh, the 4x4 control module, I have that in the garage and that's going to be another video soon. Um, I'm going to swap out that valve on the transfer case. But it basically just goes through, and that's for the same thing, because the circuit failed. Basically goes through and uh, checks all the modules. So you, when you first bring it up, after you're connected, it'll say interface with the vehicle and that it's ready. So when you have those two green lights down there, you know you're, you know you're good. Um, so... This is what's really cool. Right now I have it set up to tell me the absolute back pressure in the exhaust and what it desires. So you can go to the oscilloscope and you can see that I read, uh, let's see, the actual and desired and then the PSI. So it will tell me what the, what the truck wants down here for desired and what it actually is so through that we can start the truck Ugh. and it will tell me if I hit play let's see if you hit play down here so it tells me that that's the absolute back pressure it's at 16.9 psi and the truck desires 5.5. .5. Now there's all kinds of tools. So um, if you click setup down here, I think it's that, yeah. These are all the different things that you can look at. Uh, clutch allowed, I mean, there's just tons of stuff that you can set up, either graph it or uh, the table so that you can like I have it set up on the table so I can see what's desired and what what it actually uh, is doing so there's there's just tons of stuff um, turn that back on and I'll disconnect and reconnect it to make sure we're good actually we can just read the DTCs again to make sure it's good um, read DCC Okay, so since it's it's going through there and reading them, we know it's still connected. Okay, so here's where this is really cool. Um, you swap out the hydro boost like we did in the last video, or you swap out your master cylinder, something where you need to uh, bleed the brakes. Your little $800 or $80 OBD2 scan tool is not going to do the automated brake system or the automated ABS bleed for you. This will. This is free. That little ELM 327, I think I paid 10 bucks for it. Okay. So <clears throat> we'll just continue to go through some of the stuff that's in here. Um, hopefully you guys can see this without much of a glare. If, if not, I'll add some... Uh, different things you can do uh, different tests uh, an on-demand self-test for the ABS just all kinds of tests and stuff it's so cool uh, there's the ABS service bleed you can reset the ABS module um, and this is this is the free version you can buy a license for this for 50 bucks I believe a lifetime license for this with updates and everything from Forescan and use you've essentially got a dealership in a box you know so think about that before you go and buy a, a obd2 scanner if you have a laptop and you can get on amazon and buy one of these i'll, I'll put a link in the description of the video for this exact scanner because i know this one works um 
this thing's great. Uh, I now know that I'm, I have too much exhaust back pressure in my truck and that I need to maybe let her breathe a little bit. Maybe get a little bit more performance out of it. Maybe since we've deleted the DPF, the muffler's full of soot. Of course, that muffler needs to come off anyway because, by God, it needs to breathe. So that's probably the next thing that I'm going to do. And I wouldn't have known that unless I had been just sitting here screwing with this and was like, huh, I wonder if I have enough back pressure or too much. I have too much. So, something to keep in mind, guys. I know this video is short. I just wanted to shoot a, a quick video on this. I'll leave links in the description where you can get Forescan, um, where I got that ELM327 Bluetooth scanner down there, monitor, whatever the hell that thing is. I'll leave those links down there. And then, uh, yeah, any Ford, Lincoln, or Mercury, plug it right in. We've already used it on my wife's. Uh, 2016 escape just to see you know is there anything wrong with it she had some uh, navigation issues that we found out was the a-pin module you know that that saves you countless hours and countless dollars going to a dealership when you can use a free program to find it out and the diagnostic features of this thing are I mean they're immeasurable you, you save so much money by diagnosing things yourself and finding things wrong yourself instead of going to the dealership and paying $45 an hour with a minimum of how many hours. So um, I'll leave links to everything in the description of, below. And if this helped you, if this, uh, if you've been looking for something like this and I just answered it for you, or if you just want to help out, uh, go ahead and toss a like on the video and subscribe below and, and if you really want to know when when I post stuff just hit that bell down there so thanks for watching guys I'll see you guys next time